now, the three big things you need to know. Number one. The global death toll from COVID-19 has risen past one million, a bleak milestone in a pandemic that has devastated the global economy, overloaded health systems, and changed the way we live. The death rate has increased in recent weeks as infections surge in several countries. Dr. Anthony Fauci of the White House Coronavirus Task Force told ABC we're not in a good place. Right now, a baseline of 40,000 cases per day is not where you want to be. It took just three months for COVID-19 deaths to double from half a million. Number two. Firefighters say they hope dying winds will allow them to bear down on a wildfire that has exploded in the Northern California wine country. The glass fire tripled in size yesterday and some two dozen homes have burned. Calistoga Mayor Chris Canning says cell tower outages are hampering evacuation efforts. The headers will go out, but the body which has the content, you know, telling people where to go, what routes to take, etc., uh, is being challenged right now. About 70,000 people are under evacuation orders. Meanwhile, three people have been found dead at another fire in Shasta County. Number three. Multiple people are dead following an officer involved shooting at a Salem, Oregon residence. Marion County Sheriff's Office deputies responded to a possible hostage situation yesterday afternoon. There, shots were fired as the incident unfolded, leading to multiple fatalities. No deputies were injured, but no other details have been released. The Wisconsin Supreme Court is scheduled to hear arguments in a case that could result in the purging of about 130,000 people from voter rolls in the hotly contested battleground state. The arguments today come just five weeks before the election in one of several closely watched lawsuits in Wisconsin, but attorneys for both sides don't expect a decision until after the election. The Tampa Bay Lightning are the champions of bubble hockey. Braden Point scored his playoff best 14th goal in the Lightning, beat the Dallas Stars 2-0 to win the Stanley cup and finish off the nhl playoffs staged in quarantine yeah that's as many uh stanley cup titles as the flyers now okay so lightning have done it in in far fewer franchise years than the flyers <laughs> i think flyers fans really like to be reminded of that yeah that why are you been bringing that up by. i don't i don't know <laughs> I just, I just, I just want to stick a thumb in the flyer's yeah, eyes. No. I guess. I <laughs> They're suffering <don't>, so lately. <laughs> Thanks for being with us. A young teenager is being celebrated by a community college in Texas after obtaining his associate's degree at only 14 years old. Ian Taylor Schlitz started to take classes at Tarrant County College's Northeast Campus in North Richland Hills at age 12, and the school announced he has now obtained his two-year degree. Young Ian said he drew inspiration from one very special classmate, his 16-year-old sister Haley, who obtained her associate degree from the college and a bachelor's degree from Texas Women's University. Haley now, by the way, is the youngest ever student to attend law school at SMU. She's credited with helping her younger brother organize his schedule and manage his time. Ian, the 14-year-old, is also the founder and CEO of his own company, Kid Lamity Gaming. UPI says he's pursuing his bachelor's degree and deciding whether to pursue a master of business administration degree or attend medical school. That'll do it for this hour. For Jennifer Koshenka, I'm Gordon Deal. Thanks for listening to This Morning, America's First News. Did you know that right now, GEICO is offering an extra 15% credit on car, motorcycle, and RV policies? That's 15% on top of what GEICO could already save you. So what are you waiting for? Save an extra 15% when you switch by October 7th. Visit GEICO.com to learn more.